Hey Collective, how are you guys? I hope you all are doing wonderful this evening. Thank you all for being here as always, getting ready to get y'all a general collective reading, okay? Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, for the collective today, what do we have for the collective today, please? Pets, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love, impossible. <laughs> for mine, anyway. I'm all over my pet. He probably wants me to move on. Oh, look, and there's the core to move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. What? What is this? Okay, so what? You're moving on from somebody and getting yourself a new pet? Okay, let's see. But they'll be back. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb here. So it's going to be a love read. <laughs> Wow. Okay. What the hell is going on? Where is this going? You could be a water sign. They could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. Someone else is definitely in the middle of a situation that has been trying to sabotage it. Okay. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. Somebody could definitely be getting some kind of new pet here. All right. Uh, or maybe you're even fostering a pet. Something like that. It's interesting because it says move on. Someone's unavailable here. And I think it's because maybe they're in a third party. Maybe there's some kind of third party interference here. Somebody, okay. <clears throat> yeah, there is a third party interference here. And someone is definitely pushing that is what I feel. Somebody wants to be that. Someone wants to be in the middle. They they might know about your situation, want to sabotage it. Maybe that's already happened. I feel, okay. Some of you, that's already happened. For some of you, I think this is a very... I want to say a present threat for some reason. So maybe you have an active, an active situation where you feel like somebody's not calling or answering texts or things have just changed, right? The energy has changed in a situation here. Well, this is why, okay? Somebody else may actually be in the, involved. This could be somebody new. This could be an ex, okay? This could be just somebody being messy, the thing is, I think you're going to end up hearing from somebody. Why do I feel like some of you did move on, get a pet, whatever, move to a new apartment or whatever here, a new home? And now somebody else is trying to come back here. The thing to remember is they could actually be, whoever's trying to come back around could still be attached to someone else here. Or if they're not attached to them, someone could definitely be trying to sabotage a situation is what I'm feeling. Okay, what else, Spirit? For the collective. Let me get an overall energy actually for you guys. Oh, I'm not singing Chain of Fools over here. What is that about? Oh, the High Priestess in reverse. A lot of things. Okay. High Priestess in reverse. That might be stuff actually being revealed here. High Priestess in reverse could also be somebody here that's trying to sabotage a situation. This could be somebody that is not working in the light, if you get my drift. Okay. They could be using their gifts here for not so good things. They could be misdirecting someone here through readings or anything like that in order to sabotage this person or saying they've gotten readings or they could also be energetic work or something like that that's being done here to stop a person or sabotage a whole situation. Wow, I feel very connected to that. Yeah, and then we have the sun card up right here, overall energies. High Priestess in reverse in the sun card. Maybe somebody's coming back because they're realizing that, they're recognizing that. They've been getting the wrong information that they have been around somebody, maybe even paying somebody. Oh, paying somebody for readings or something like that that hasn't been getting it done. What the, okay, what am I trying to say here that hasn't been getting it done? <laughs> Oh my gosh, if that is the case, they've been paying somebody to do something that hasn't been getting it done. I can see why you moved on and got a pet, honestly, okay? 
Um, hopefully that is not what I'm getting, but I believe that is what I'm getting. Let me see what else here, Spirit. What else for the collective? Ninth house here, spiritual growth here. So you could have been someone here who is focused on your spiritual growth, moving ahead here. Yeah, really surrendering here, getting into the flow of things, welcoming change in your life. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could be a Gemini here as well. It shows that you're coming through here with a lot of curiosity. You could be networking at this time. Somebody could be very drawn as well to your intellect. Uh, something about your mind. There is a big transformation that I feel like that has been happening with you here with all this butterfly energy around. I do also feel like a lot of you guys are getting a lot of messages in a multitude of ways as you've been moving on from a situation here. Yeah, look at that. And moving on is actually what's falling on that is the, the sixth house, which is all about practical details and establishing a new foundation here. This could also involve your health as well. I feel like I picked that up in one reading. I don't know if it was Sag's or Capricorn's reading. Either one of those, if, if that applies to you, you may want to check those out. I feel like there's a lot of focus going into building a home, building your foundation, um, daily health, you know, keeping your body healthy, strong. Maybe vitamins, minerals, maybe even what you're putting into your mind, your psyche, very important as well. Yeah, whatever this has been, honestly, this might be good for you. I see that you're surrounding yourself with good stuff, consciously surrounding yourself with good stuff. And obviously pets, come on, that, that kind of unconditional love that you really need, that we crave, right? Eighth house here, transformation, karma, facing fears here. You have someone here that's probably been going through some karma here, that has been in some kind of karmic cycle here. This could be a person here that's been dealing with their, their own transformation here. Trying to face their fears here, maybe when it comes to a situation with you. This could be a person that's wanting to return. Maybe that is their fear now that they've seen the light on something here. Now that something has been illuminated here, they could be. Look, if they were getting somebody to someone here to, I don't think it's about reading on you. Although I definitely think somebody here follows some bad advice here. So it could be about the readings. I also feel like it could have been more than that though. If it was energetically, then yeah, absolutely. This person could definitely have had some karma for that right there in the 8th house here. This could have been an Aries here. Somebody here could be an Aries here. That's interesting because I immediately thought... Now, Aries, of course, are very independent people, normally brave, but I'm not getting that. I feel like this is a person that has a big personality. They come across as very confident, kind of take charge. I feel like they take what they want generally so this can kind of be this could be a person who abuses their power in a sense they might even be in a position of power is what i'm getting here but i'm telling you and they might actually come in that way here the sun is also very powerful think about it they might come in that way as well so we have Pisces and Leo up here somebody wants to communicate with you because they want to come together in some way this is a person that either feels like they've been dealing with a high priestess in reverse, which could very well be the self, the sabotager here, but I don't know in what respect they've been dealing with this person. Were they in their life? Were they trying to get them to, to do stuff? Or were they just getting bad information from this person? Okay, this is interesting. Hmm... Alright, let's see, Spirit, what this is. I feel like all this person can think about is growth here. All they can think about is growth. And I do think, the only thing I don't like, well, besides the High Priestess in Reverse, the only thing that I don't like is what exactly was that? You know, what... How are they acquainted, first of all, with this person, number one? 
And I feel like their attitude is a bit forceful for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that through the energy. All right, Spirit, tell me, show me for the collective. What does the collective need to know here? Oh, let's get those up. What does the collective need to know here, Spirit? Oh, Nine of Swords. Some kind of communication could be coming in really fast here. Ooh. All right, something's coming in really fast. Yeah. Something is coming in very, very fast here. Okay, honestly, it could be problems. It might be a problem coming towards you very fast here. I told you somebody's coming in very forcefully. Come on. All right, Nine of Swords energy right now. This is somebody that comes at you very fast, very impetuous kind of behavior. This is also somebody that can leave just as fast. This could be somebody, obviously, who drives a motorcycle, or rides a mo motorcycle, I guess. Somebody that's been in their head quite a bit. This is somebody definitely at war with themselves here, but I feel like this person could have created some battles for you as well. That's what I'm getting here. This is a person that desperately wanted to hold on to you in some way. They may view you as a really beautiful person, very emotional and loving. Kind of drama free. That's what I'm getting with this particular energy. Somebody who doesn't like to be about the drama here. You're somebody who cared very deeply for them. They're trying to hold on to that. Oh, yeah, this person. There's so much that you don't know about this situation is what I feel. This person is so in their emotions. Jeez. Did we have a reading the other day like this where the person was... I, I'd have to go back and look. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting things so fast because I'm doing my end of the year wrap up and my annual training at work. It's just been like, Wow. And I had a nephew born yesterday on my birthday. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Best present ever. So, yeah, I've been busy. But here's the thing. I think that somebody misses you like crazy. Somebody misses you like crazy. I feel like they went through a lot of stuff here trying to do the right thing to keep you kind of with them in some way where you did not get too far off. And I don't necessarily know that these were the right things. I don't know what they did, by the way, but I don't, I don't necessarily think that this was the right, right way to go about things. Even if they were just listening to bad information and acting on that instead of really connecting to their heart and following their heart. Because the truth is... It's really funny because I feel like you bring out a, this might be a person that's not ordinarily very soft or loving or connected to their heart. You know, you could definitely be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, but I feel like they are around you. Something about you makes them feel that way. Look at them. They're very lost in their emotions here. Drowning, actually. Wanting to have that feeling back, wanting to have that opportunity back in some way because they feel like you're some kind of wish fulfillment but i'm going to tell you this person could also be lost in the sauce a little bit too this nine of cups energy yeah look yes they are and maybe that's when they're doing this that magician energy i could very well just say they're manifesting but i'm telling you something else was going on up here and that is just desperation here because this person is feeling all of these emotions here. And what are you doing? I don't know. Over here communing with source here, right? Living your life, being beautiful, intuitive. Maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're sharing those emotions with other people. Maybe you're just being who you are and really connected and feeling the fullness of that. Okay. And that's where you've been staying at. Oh my gosh, I feel so strongly about this reading suddenly, I'm telling you. Somebody has got to have this. They feel like they have got to have you back in their life. All right, let me see what this was. What is this High Priestess in reverse? What is this even about? Show me this High Priestess in reverse here. Feels to me like that's the interference here. Who is this High Priestess in reverse? Whoa. Okay, this is somebody, see this was the interference. Yeah, this was definitely the interference here. Look at this. 
This is definitely the interference here. This high priestess in reverse looks to me like they've been put on hold. They've been paused for a second here. Hangman energy. Somebody may not be dealing with them anymore if they were dealing with them before. This is a person that feels very guarded. Okay. They feel very defensive about something that's happened here. Three of Pentacles here definitely tells me there could be some collaborative effort here to get in between something or to sabotage something here. It also tells me they could have been working with other people to do this. It could have also been whoever this energy was up here. Somebody here wants to be acknowledged. They want to be, yeah, they want to be the one. They want to be the one that somebody puts on a pedestal, not you. Whoa, what is this? Honestly, if you're a reader, you could be dealing with a reader. That's what I feel. Yeah, if you're a reader, you could definitely be dealing with a reader here. This person is not happy about the results that they have. But this reader, I can see that you are doing things right. Whoever this is, is not. And even so much as giving bad information, false information on purpose. No offense, readers. I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> I can see it. Okay, so yeah, given this on purpose. So definitely not working with the light here. Maybe working with the darker side of things. This is somebody that's definitely not happy about the results that they have gotten here because for some reason it kind of got them left out. Somebody questioning them maybe and making them, well, they're left out, plain and simple here. Yeah, because something here got highlighted, illuminated maybe about what was going on or what they were doing here. Yeah, look at this. Whoa. See, oh my gosh. Somebody here knows. Somebody here is upset about how things turned out, and it's definitely not the way that they thought, okay? Somebody could have been doing things to someone to make them feel a certain way, to make them look at them a certain way, to put them on a pedestal, to get someone's respect. They could have told them they could do things like this. This could have intrigued this person as well. But the problem is something here got highlighted here, and I think it's because shit just wasn't happening, Things weren't happening the way someone expected it to happen. All right. And somebody is not happy with the results here because the heart wants what it wants. All right. Something here has definitely been illuminated and you, they know that this person is moving towards some kind of reconciliation or trying to move towards some kind of reconciliation here. After all that, that's what I, that's exactly what I just got after all that. So whatever all that was, okay, all the work that went into it, all the time, the energy. These people could have been friends as well or worked together. I don't know what you're dealing with here, honestly. But whatever it is, somebody feels like they've been left out. They feel like they didn't get the result that they wanted here. And I heard after all that, so it must have been over a time period. And I'm going to tell you something else because I got this up here and I cannot remember what came through in the beginning. I'll have to go back and look or maybe you guys can, but it sounded to me like potentially this person trying to come back in was getting somebody to do something. So maybe they tacked onto this person or something and this person really thought, okay, well, you know. I can get them over here. What a strange story. Okay, Spirit, what, what is coming up then in this story? The Fool. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you got somebody about to approach you for sure. This is somebody that feels absolutely shut out from you, heartbroken about the situation here. This is somebody who has a lot, a lot of passion for you. This person knows they got to leave their baggage, I feel like, behind, their ways behind. They're trying to get something to freaking grow over here is what I'm seeing. This person could have had a lot of options here in the past as well. This is not, I don't feel like this is normally how this person acts, to be honest with you. They might come across very calculated, calm, cool, collected, something like that. But I feel like they're just, I'm not getting that at all. 
in this full energy. I just feel like somebody is willing to go, or they're about to, they feel like they're about to make a fool out of themselves. Maybe they feel like, hey, if I choose this option, I'm going to make a fool out of myself, but I'm so passionate about this person here. Let, okay, let me see about them now. I don't know. All right, tell me more about this person. Let me change decks here. Tell me more, Spirit, about the person. Who is this person? This Aries energy? Or... Who is this energy? Is this trying to come back to the collective? What is the situation here? Mm. Oh, wow. Death and the Nine of Swords. Okay. What's the situation here? What's their situation with the priesthood? The high priesthood's in reverse here. Tell me that. What is this person's situation with the high priestess in reverse here? Mm, okay. So. Okay. Well, shoot, this person might be against, this person might actually be bullied by this high priestess in reverse here. This person may feel like this high priestess in reverse is now attacking them. What the, what happened? Okay. This person... Could have been going to somebody. I cannot believe where the story is going, but I'm just going to read the energy here, of course. This person could have been going some, to someone here to try and get some kind of outcome here. I'm telling you, this could have been a friend or something like that. Maybe it is a high priestess in revert that works with kind of the darker side of things. I'm telling you, somebody turn this on this person. That's what I'm getting. They turn it on this person. So instead of maybe doing just what they wanted, they were turning it, trying to, they might have been driving a bigger wedge, to be honest with you. Okay, can I just input my two cents here? They shouldn't have been going to someone for this reason. Anyway, I'm just going to say it, okay? You don't need all that. So I think... I think somebody turned it on this person and maybe it's after they did not get the result that they want here. Maybe they began to be very rash, very kind of forceful here, a bit of a bully. This person could know that now this other one, and maybe they were with this person, I don't know, but they could know that this other one now is trying to get in the middle, trying to sabotage something here. <clears throat> yeah, because they feel like they got unfinished lessons together, okay? We've got stuff that is unsettled here is what they feel. This could be somebody here in a family that they were dealing with here. Or maybe this is somebody who, yeah, this could be somebody here in their family or something like that that they were dealing with. Or maybe they know someone through the family here. There could have been a lot of money, I feel like, that was invested as well. I feel like this person, and that's kind of that comment I got earlier, was it all for nothing or whatever the heck I said? Because I feel like this person feels like not only did I not get the results, I was just left feeling, you know, like I was just exhausted, like nothing was coming to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like this was just like a big struggle. I think someone was working on your person, but the weird part is I think it's someone that they trusted to do stuff for them. Okay, there's the... This might be the issue. You could be dealing with this king of wands in reverse person, okay? So a very domineering person. That's what I was getting with that energy up there that really likes to get what they want. You know, by force if necessary here. A bit tyrannical here. Very impulsive. They could be a player here or sexually promiscuous. Oh, and then the queen of wands in reverse too. Yeah, see, this is a person, look, I'm telling you, your person was with someone else. And I'm telling you, whoever they were with could have started off as some kind of friend. Honestly, for them, could have started off some kind of friend, friend with benefits, okay? Both of these are very promiscuous individuals here, very selfish. Somebody could have decided they wanted the other person. 
This could be a person as well that either reads or does spell work, something along those lines. They definitely work with the dark side. They don't mind doing what they need to do to get what they want. Could have been giving this person a lot of bad advice is what I'm feeling like on you. This is all very spiritual, right? <laughs> giving them a lot of bad advice on you and probably saying they were, they could have been saying they're doing things to get to you, but this, they were definitely trying to get this person. That's what I feel. And they're very, I feel like they're very upset about how things turned out. Very upset. I don't know why my reading is going this way, but this is what I'm getting. I guess maybe you need to know this. They're very angry. There's a lot of jealous here. Um, even vengeful here is what I'm getting about what happened. I think your person could have bonded with someone and even could have started. I don't know if they married them. God forbid, but... They could have started some kind of friendship or something here that gave someone a lot of false hope. Someone feels very vindictive about this now, very angry, very deceived as well. This person, so I bet that's why that says someone is trying to sabotage this. Someone's in the middle of someone's trying to sabotage, but the problem is... The one that is coming back feels like they have a lot of emotions for someone else. Feels like they're heartbroken over their split from someone else here. And that is you. Jesus. What a tangled web we weave here. So you could very well be the empress here. Or you could be someone that's really just abundant in your life. Someone is seeing you as someone who has it all, honestly. Very nurturing, practical, very sensible individual. You could have a you could be a business person, have a very good business sense about you. Somebody's in love with you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, these readings are so dramatic sometimes. Uh, I'm not laughing at you, definitely, if you're going through this. I just cannot believe the craziness that goes on in this world. So we have um, somebody here that is definitely trying to move towards you, maybe watching you. This is somebody that has been very dishonest to you and unfair to you in the past is what I'm getting. This could be somebody as well that works in the justice system, but that, again, we talked about taking things by brute force if necessary, okay? Kind of tyrannical. So this would definitely be someone who abuses their power. This person has a lack of accountability. That's something that you need to know here. It's almost like I don't want to discuss everything that happened over here. I just want to discuss me and you and how I've been so patient and how I've been made to feel very stuck. I know what this is about. I know why they felt like this. Okay. Just based on what I just read on. And figuring out that, you know, maybe some illusions were being put over them instead of, you know, whatever they thought they were doing to keep you to them. That's the crazy part. Talk about karma. That's like instant karma, right? Well, let me do this to you to keep you with me. And meanwhile, somebody's doing it to them. Wow. All right. Yeah. This is a person that could have also went through quite a bit of financial loss here. They could feel very isolated, spiritually put out as well. I think that also has something to do with this justice happening in reverse here. I, that's what I just said, really. It's like retribution, right? It's like instant karma for something that happened here. Yeah, something happened here. Something that was being done here, I feel like, to this kind of Queen of Pentacles energy. Just take that as it resonates. That's an energy, right? But this very practical and stable energy here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Somebody feels incredibly stuck in their life and not moving forward here. They want to be able to offer someone some kind of material offer or something like that. I think this person is actually trying to get out of the situation. They might actually be looking towards some kind of transfer or maybe they're looking for some kind of new job or something. Something might actually be holding them to a situation but remember, this person, although they're not doing things for the right reasons, they do have intuition. So if this is a partnership, or even if it's not, I feel like they're looking over this person's shoulder, and I feel like they could be making it very difficult for them. Wow. 
Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to feel about this. You can't get in the bed with the devil like that and think that you're just going to walk away scot-free. Let me just say it that way. And that's definitely not what's happening here. Somebody is aiming to make someone else's life a living hell here because of what was done to them. They're scorned. Now, I don't know everything that went on in the relationship or even if they have a, you know, a right to be, but I do know how the laws of the universe work out and that's exactly what's happening here. Someone is feeling like they're just lonely and kind of withdrawn here and they're definitely stuck here, okay? And they've just been repeating this past mistake over and over. They know why they're here. They know why they're here. They just don't want to be accountable to you because they know that you'll walk away forever and you're not even going to listen to them. And remember, what they want more than anything is to come back into your life here. You could also have some kind of brand new opportunity that's coming in that could very well take you by surprise here. Yeah, I would not, I, I definitely see some kind of communication coming in for you. Somebody's trying to come back into your life. That's something you need to know. It could be coming to you immediately. All right, some kind of rapid movement. We do see that as well here with the Knight of Swords. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is some kind of twin energy for you. I do see the Four of Wands here. Uh, whoever it is, they're obviously trying to escape something that they feel is very, very bad. But I'm going to tell you, they put themselves, whoever this is, doesn't have to be a twin either. But they put themselves kind of in this situation, but clearly they didn't know what they were getting into. Now, I have a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands in reverse, which shows me this probably started as sex. Okay, so <laughs> I don't even need to go into all that. I'm not even going to go there with you guys, but... Uh, you know, that brings its own set of problems here. You're both working from really low energy, okay? Very low energy, dark energy, sex, attachments. You know, let's move on from that, but I'm sure that you can read between the lines here. There's a lot of stuff that happened in this situation here, and now someone is almost violent because they're scorned, and they want to see, I think they want to see your person go down. I don't know what they're doing to you. Because I don't know how much they were doing to you before, to be honest with you. Maybe they were trying to get you out of the picture, too. But I can see that they were definitely working on your person here. Wow. Oof. Let me see if there's any realness to, to this person and what they might say to you. I'll give them a voice. Spirit. Jeez. Okay, your intellect. I think we talked about that earlier. Your intellect arouses me. Somebody is aroused by your mind, by your intellect. I can't get enough of you. I feel like I saw that in another reading. So you actually inspire this person here and they want you back. They feel like you probably don't feel the same anymore. And they miss seeing you. I want you to look at this bottom card. I'm in a committed relationship. I'm telling you. I don't know if this person ended up in some kind of relationship with this per with this other one. But I'm telling you, somebody feels lied to. They feel deceived to. Because like I said, they are intuitive. Okay? And they know that somebody here is trying to make a break for it and come to you. They know that somebody is in love with you. That's where their heart is. And I'm telling you, they're out for blood. That's what I feel. Not necessarily with you. I feel like with this person. The problem is, is keeping this person feeling like they're so out of touch with everything. Like they're being drained. Now, I don't necessarily think that bad behavior should, you know, obviously commit somebody to a life of this stuff. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't This might be starting, too. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Especially if they took a vow or something like that. It just says a committed relationship, though. I just think that this person, your per let me look at them. I don't know why I'm, I need to dig into their thing now, but I'm wondering how does how does your person feel about this other person? What's the situation? Whoa. They see, look, they know that they're dark. They know they've been doing all kinds of manipulation to them. They know they've been keeping them out of illusions. They think this person is crazy. They think this person is nuts, completely out of touch is what I'm getting. They know they've been working against them. Wow. They feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. Okay. Very selfish individual. Very abusive. They're looking at them as an abusive person. 
They can come across very cold as well. They know that this person is trying to keep them in illusions or has been keeping them in illusions and confusion. They also feel like they kept a lot of secrets around this person. Oh my gosh. As it relates to their twin or maybe somebody who they love. I'm telling you, this person could be in a marriage with this person as well. There was a lot of secrets around this. It's almost like I didn't know they were like this. Or I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, they were crazy. Because right here, they're calling them basically crazy out of touch. Somebody who's lost it. Somebody who's, you know, a fry short of a happy meal. Something like that. <laughs> they're saying this person's not with it, okay? Oh my gosh, look at this, yeah. This person has a plan to get away from this. They're trying to come up with a plan. That's part of the problem. That's why I think this other one has such a big issue. They know. They're not easily deceived. In fact, I feel like they're obsessively controlling or trying to control the situation here. This is a very, very nasty energy. I'm sorry I'm having to go into this, but this is where your reading is going for some reason. This person's trying to keep the faith that's what i feel they need a lot of healing they are exhausted this person already has a lot of demands on them is what i feel they've really been working hard to go within trying to gain some 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 inner clarity is what i feel and trying to go through some kind of you know rebirth of themselves and i almost feel like all this negativity around them that it's almost pushing them to that like oh my god wake up and i think they're trying to or they are to get out of this situation to find a way to get out of the situation but i'm feeling like they feel something about this is, is sometimes it's just like feeling like it's inescapable if that makes sense because trying to get out and just being hit trying to get out and being so this person needs to learn to cleanse their energy protect their energy yeah, definitely. And heal themselves. Honestly, they need to learn how to heal themselves or they need to find the proper healer. That's what I feel. Because their energy, I'm looking at this card too, I feel like their energy though has so much cloudiness to it. So much darkness to it. Their whole aura here. Somebody is pouncing them here. And it's somebody that they're with or who they've been with. And I mean been with like committed. Somebody feels really, really scorned about where this person, what they're doing, what they're trying to do. I almost feel like somebody is trying to catch someone too. They may very well be trying to see anything. Emails, documents, uh, text. I don't know. Something like that. I don't even know that you're in touch. But they're trying to see what this person's thoughts are. Maybe getting readings, doing their own readings. Like, I feel a very obsessive energy here. I'm going to read. I'm going to read again. I'm going to read again until I get the answer that I want. I know what I feel. But a lot of what they feel is because they're batshit crazy. That's what I feel. Maybe too much energy here. So, somebody here is trying to make a plan here. They're they're trying. They're preparing to, to make a change here. You know, maybe they got into a comfort zone with this other person. They didn't know exactly what they were dealing with. There's the Aries energy again, but somebody's choosing a path. They're making a decision here. That's about putting practical plans into action. What do they want from this situation? I don't even know what to say about this. Okay. What do they want from this situation? Oh, yeah. 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 I think ultimately they would like to have success in this situation. You know, they would like to be with someone who they really hold in high regard here. I think that that from a logical perspective where they're at right now, they're, they're definitely keeping the hope. They're looking for answers. They're trying to get out of this situation. But honestly, I, I think it's a moment by moment thing here is what I'm getting. This person already feels overly committed to everything else. And just trying to keep up with everything and they're absolutely exhausted is what I'm getting. Maybe this person, um, they're trying to really muster up the courage, get the courage together, get the inner strength together to be able to pull this off here. To make these changes because they feel like they owe somebody here the absolute truth. And they want to come across like they're in their right mind. So I feel like they don't come across like they're just here spouting a bunch of BS. They know that they have to come through with very direct communication here. 
it's almost like I need you to know that I'm serious about this, okay? This person really wants to have some kind of breakthrough in this. Not only maybe with you, but also in their head. That's that's sad, really, because I think somebody feels, they, they understand that they've been under a lot of illusions here. Yeah, illusions that were put there to maybe make them doubt their own intuition. You know, to maybe make them feel insecure about a situation. To create some kind of blocks here. So this person is trying to get there and they are getting there where they're understanding the level of sabotage that was caused to this connection. In order for two people to come together, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, it's honestly, it hasn't, it hasn't stopped the emotions. Ace of Cups here. You know, ultimately, if they could get all of this together, I feel like what they would want is some kind of new opportunity here. Yeah, to release any pain here, to have some kind of forgiveness in a situation here, right? To bring the passion back in. King of Swords, Queen of Swords here, we have a match, you know? To be able to be that stand-up person maybe that you need them to be. Somebody who lives with high standards. Somebody who lives with some sense of integrity because clearly they were not that way before. King of Wands in reverse. They want to do better. That's what I feel. Yeah, this person's going to try and reach out to you. I'm telling you, they're trying to manifest that. But this, I don't know what the hell they got themselves into. That sounds terrible, right? I'm really not laughing at them. I can't help it. Maybe it's a nervous laugh because... I just can't, I can't even imagine something like this. I, I don't know. Okay. I guess maybe they were in a totally different space. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but it seems like they might've been in a not so good space before. I'm going to leave it right there because I don't even want to touch this anymore. I just want to move on to my next reading. Okay. Thank you guys for being here as always. I will see y'all soon. Have a good night. Bye.